oi, oi, I'm Keith Cunterbout, People's Champion, Freedom Fighter, Sex Pest. Now, men are getting a war deal, aren't they? Straight white men in particular. We're getting a lot of stick, getting a lot of abuse, aren't we? We're getting discriminated against in the workplace because of identity politics. We're getting passed over for jobs for people who are far less experienced and capable than us because they ticked some equality and diversity boxes. And if we happen to mention it, we get cancelled for hate speech, ostracised, smeared, subject to political persecution. The biggest killer of men under 45 is suicide. 20% of all men under 45 who are dying are dying because they top themselves. Why did they top themselves? Because they're living in a society that is socially and economically structured to be hostile towards them. I mean, just look at how divorced blokes get absolutely rinsed. Lose their house, not allowed to see their kids. Great life for a middle-aged bloke, isn't it? If you're a bloke, you won't be absolutely out of your mind trying to get married these days, you're entering into a legally binding massive power imbalance. It's an act of extreme self-harm. You'd be better off getting hold of a gun somehow and shooting off your own knackers. To be a straight white bloke in the year 2023 is to be attacked, cheated, robbed and abused professionally, legally and socially. And you can't talk about any of this, can you? Because the vast majority of people being cancelled, losing their livelihoods, being smeared, discredited for saying things that are deemed to be offensive, are straight white blokes, aren't they? Attacked, cheated, robbed, abused and silenced. Only way you can really speak openly as a straight white bloke is if you adopt a fairly crude and obvious comedic character to do so. Otherwise, you've got no chance, mate. You'll be whipped off YouTube and social media before you can say tyrannical progressivism. What we need is a minister for men, someone who's going to fight back against the toxic matriarchy, someone who's going to restore the balance, someone who's going to restore meritocracy, fair play, free speech and a level playing field. If no one else will stand up, if no one else has got the balls, I'll do it myself, part-time for hundred grand a year plus expenses. It's time for someone with honour and integrity to push back against this institutionalised reverse racism, reverse sexism, anti-white male bigotry.